In our next section, we are going to talk about advanced BGP configuration. The first thing we are going to take a look is BGP route summarization. BGP route summarization is done with the aggregate address command. Okay, here is our topology. We have three, four routers. And in router 4, we type the show IP BGP. We see the routes from 0 to 7. We see the everything in here. Then in router 3, if you want to use summarization, we use aggregate address and the IP address and subnet mask to this direction. And after when we type show IP BGP on router 4 again, we are going to see 0, 1 to 7 again, but an aggregate route which has a subnet mask of slash 21 as well. Okay, cool. If we use the summary only command in BGP route summarization, only the summarized route is advertised. This time let's use the aggregate address, IP and the subnet mask with the summary only keyword. And after when we check the show IP BGP output from the router 4, we are not gonna see this guys this time. The only thing we are gonna see is just a summer route. Let's talk about the BGP community feature. The BGP community feature allows routers to tag the routes and filtering them using that labels. In this respect, routers routes act like a community rather than a single route. The community feature is an optional and switchable feature. If a router does not understand the concepts of the community, it passes these concepts to the next router. There are four well-known community features which make use the previously defined community settings and they are internet, no export, no advertise and local as. Internet promotes the relevant route to the internet and other related routes. No export does not send the relevant routes to eBGP neighbors. No advertise does not send the related route to any neighbors. And local AS does not send the relevant route outside the local AS. And here is the configuration of the BGP communities. We have four routers in our topology as you can see and we are going to let router 2 to advertise this prefix to router 3. This prefix will be advertised to router 3 but we are going to let router 3 does not advertise this guy to router 4. How we can accomplish this? All right. What we are going to do is on router 2, we are defining first an IP prefix list, which has a name of 100 network and we are hitting this prefix in the IP prefix list. Then we are defining a route map which have a no export 100 network name and we are matching the IP address in here and we are setting a community with no export. All right, then we are defining a route map permit 20 statement 
to permit the rest all, to permit the rest of the things then under the BGP statement we are using neighbor route map no export 100 network out all right then we are using the send community command then when we take a look to router trees show IP BGP table we can see the entry for this network but when we take a look to router 4 we don't see anything related to 100 100 100 and 0 network BGP specifies that routes learned via IBGP are never propagated to other IBGP peers. The result is that a full mesh of IBGP peers is required within an autonomous system. For example, with only 13 routers, 78 IBGP sessions would need to be maintained. With the BGP route reflector, the need for full mesh of IBGP neighbors is removed because the route reflector has the ability to distribute IBGP routes to other IBGP routers. The route reflector reduces the number of BGP neighbors and sessions in an AS so bandwidth can be used more efficiently. Other routers can learn different routes by neighboring with the route reflector. And here is the configuration of the route reflector. So we have route reflector in here and we have router 1 and router 2. In router 1, here is the BGP configuration, router BGP 100, we are advertising a network and we are neighboring with just route reflector. That's the important, that's the key point. And in router 2, we are just neighboring with the route reflector as you can see again. Let's take a look to the route reflector now. In route reflector, we are peering with router 1 and we are peering with router 2. What we define is remote the AS and update source loopback. Okay, I already know this. Here is the key difference. We are using the route reflector client command for each router. Okay, that's the key difference and that's the only difference while we are defining the route reflector. Okay, in summarization, on the client routers, we are just peering with the route reflector and route reflector is peering with all other guys in the network and we are using the route reflector client command. And here is how we can propagate a default route on BGP. That's pretty straightforward. The command is just default originate. 